Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. Today we're not going to be continuing our tsunami map from last time because we've got to go down in these saves and find the last episode of Engertopia. Did, did I literally just call it Gar? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh yes, we called it Gar because my Atlantis started flooding. Not ideal if you're trying to build a house down here, but despite that, it's good to be back in Engertopia. We've got the poop chute, that boats are coming up doing their boat trips of Architect Hill. Because yes, the architects in my city, they live on a poop island. Don't you love to see it? And this is actually very well engineered because the water comes down these dams, it gets cleaned, and then by the time it enters the river at the bottom, it's completely clean, meaning pumps can suck it back up. People in my city can drink the water and then they can turn it back into waste where it gets dumped by the architects again. And since these hydroelectric dams create power, we have an infinite power solution to our city. Uh, there's also the poop canal overspill. Uh, that's actually filling up quite quickly, actually. Uh <laughs> But details, details. You've got down here the mess of spaghetti, which people absolutely love driving around. It's basically a tourist attraction. Speaking of which, our helicopter tours are very, very popular. There's more helicopters than ever right now. You can see the line of them going back. And look, they're actually looking over the spaghetti junction. Told you. Down this way, we've got a very, very unique airport in that it's underground. Look, you can see there's a plane taking off there. Can we can we catch to race him? Quick, quick, quick. All right, there it goes through the bridges. Love to see it. I'm sure the people on that plane are off on holiday somewhere nice. Yeah, I have noticed over here we've got a bit of a traffic problem, which I might try and fix first. Oh, look at this next to the canal. That's so cool. So yeah, lots of people trying to get onto my realistic looking grade separated junction. Uh, most people tend to be coming off this arm and then then turning right up there. So if we look from above, they're sort of doing like a loop. So what it might be best to do instead of that is have like an arm coming off maybe this street and connect over to there. So let's just fix that whilst we're here. So we're going to do a junction off under there, we'll curve over this way and probably just connect into that. So we should see less traffic coming down here and more going all the way around. I mean, alternatively, I probably should just do a junction from here. Now we do have overhead power lines to be wary of. So let's make sure we're past that. Yeah, so basically a little arm like that. That works. That's straight off the power lines. And look, someone's already using it. Nice. I'm then going to please Biffa. I'm going to do some lane mathematics. So obviously we've got a lane coming in there. We want three lanes that way. So I'm just going to make this stretch beforehand a two laner. So it will replace all of this like that. And then when we get to this point, we're just going to do our lane connections. So you go into that lane you go straight ahead. You go straight ahead. So there should be no traffic issues there. That should all be pretty simple. Um, however, I have cut the power. Oops. So there you go. Power connected again. Yeah, and basically, this just allows people to come down here and use all of my bridges. <laughs> and today I'm announcing I've just released bridge review merch. Go check out my merch store, realservilengineer.store, and let me know in the comments what you think of the bridge review shirt. Anyway, and we've got a big load of traffic coming from down here, and it looks like everyone is pretty much going on that route. So that is absolutely fantastic. Because look, there's now no more traffic down at this junction. So sweet, we have fixed that. The next problem of the day is over here. These guys have... Wow, they have no electricity. Okay, let's try and work out what happened. Ah, oh, so I think that cable got cut when we build our poop canal. Yeah, there's lots of issues. Let's extend that. I don't know how that got chopped, but we basically just got to connect all these wires up. And then we've got pylons from the unlimited power source all the way around the edge to this city that I built. So yeah, that is fantastic and today what i want to what i want to focus on, oh no oh, atlantis is very much flooding i don't have time to fix you today atlantis i've done too much fixing already uh, we need to grow we need to build new things uh, and i wanted to i wanted to add a bit of height to my to my map i mean i quite like the unlimited steps that we've done here i want to try and maybe incorporate that into like a new city area so first off let's try and find somewhere sensible to build this new thing if you remember last time we bought every single tile so we can literally build anywhere which is good do you know what i feel like i might build down here we've got this highway coming around the back which doesn't actually do anything at the moment so perhaps this area here could be a good place to build now first off i think i'm gonna annoy some people in the comments yeah i'm literally gonna delete everything from this area so all the trees we're gonna be doing mass deforestation so let's do that let's press delete oh 
Oh man, why did that feel good? That shouldn't feel good. Right, we've got a nice space there now. I, I have left a little green buffer of trees just so our motorway is a bit hidden from our new area we're going to build. But yeah, this is going to be called the wedge. I'm going to try and do like a tiered city thing where each sort of floor has something unique on it, like a different district if you like. So first off, we're going to need to do quite a bit of landscaping. Yeah, I should probably pause the game as well. It's 2049, bloody hell. That's probably because I never pause when I'm building all this stuff. We're going to build the wedge probably over in that direction. I feel like a nice view of the mountains and stuff rather than a view of the sewer would be quite nice. So perhaps something like that. I think we'll do our slopes first and just check the level's good. So I've got to use the slope tool, which is this one. So I want to grab that top level and then I want to do a straight line from about there. And then we'll just go straight straight as we can and then we've got that in and then we'll do another one on this side All right and then we got that that's pretty good this is really gonna feel like stadium like i think but yeah i think i want to use the flood walls because i know from my atlantis experience if you build a flood wall you can then trim these back so they're not as thick because i feel like they're a bit too wide at the moment so we'll build a flood wall as straight as we can up to there we can then put a nice curve around the back and then we can do another straight down there All right and that means we can trim this right up to the edge so we want to use the level terrain tool we got to grab a level that's sort of i think we'll go off the contours so i'll grab that level and then we'll just fill this in and you can see this is cut right back to that flood wall so that's nice giving us lots of area to work with the question is though what sort of of width do we need to go with i basically need i need a road down the middle as a minimum so i can get buildings on either side so something like that and then perhaps another one sort of parallel that looks pretty good to me so next up we do the next layer down so i think we're going to that contour so i've got it in now what is probably worth doing again is getting another flood wall in i mean technically we could actually connect from that flood wall so we could do something like that although that does cock up the nice slope we had going on oh but maybe maybe we could do the terraformation first if we cut right up to that edge then perhaps we can actually delete that flood wall afterwards i don't know but now though i definitely just want to get a few more layers in so let's just do that quick all right so that's sort of done let's see what happens if we do now delete these flood walls i'm a bit scared oh no it's, it's good it's good i was a bit scared the slopes underneath might go back to like what they're meant to be but no that's that is fantastic nice okay let's get building once again then i'm sort of thinking at the top that's where all the all the posh people are gonna live so we probably want low density residential zones up here yeah uh, this next level is going to be very important this is going to be where all the like jobs and education and things are so again two more parallel roads connect them together and then we're going to need all of our sort of services and things so let's start with the education because that is paramount so school there school there and another one in the middle same thing with a library we of course need a hospital as well as elder care where old people go to die child care where children go to die and i feel like squeezing in some fire stuff and then i might delete some of these roads so i can get some like parks and things in well they're actually i can fit the most important park in without any tweaks the rocket monument park a very very strong park yeah and then i want i think i want a bit of a green belt before we do anything else so i'm gonna build i am gonna build a road probably from well I'll start from the front that seems sensible so we got those two in let's just link them up so yeah we can probably squeeze a third road so we got that sort of thing and now the green belt so let me just see if i were to put a tree in and then i sort of give a bit of yeah okay the tree goes with it okay so i think i'm going to cover this in trees and then i'm going to try and give it a bit of a more natural feel with a bit of level and stuff all right so after like half an hour planting trees <laughs> I hope that goes some way to those that were mad at me for deforesting earlier. That sort of makes up for it, right? That looks quite green and nice-ish. But yeah, in here, this is actually going to be where the offices and the commercial zones go. So I'm going to put offices around the back because hopefully these don't pollute too much that the trees will die. Then people will be mad. So we'll do that sort of thing and then we'll do the industrial stuff at the front. And then whilst we're here, this middle zone, this needs to be... You want high-density commercial at the 
back and then we'll do the low density at the front just so the people at the back get a bit of a nicer view and then down the bottom i think more tree lined streets because i want this to be the high density residential but i do actually i want to bring like a bit of a water feature down here so we're going to build a bit of a channel from this river so if i just grab sort of slightly below the water level so i guess about that one we can then bring the water right in and then hopefully when we press play the water will come down here and it will fill up this area and then we can put like a key in and some cool stuff but for now let's paint in this bottom bit this is high density residential and right, then i'm just dotting some unique buildings about just to make things a bit more unique i guess and of course we got to give this thing services now my sort of idea was to try and have like this sort of thing down the side of it so i could have all the sewage going in the top and then they make power with hydroelectricity dams and then the fresh water goes to the bottom where we collect that water so it could be drunk and everything but i feel like since we've got so much electricity over here like look how much we're making 1475 megawatts we only need less than 700 and likewise we're pumping 151 million meters cubed a week of water yet we're only using half a million so i won't over engineer this i will just grab all the pipes and stuff from over there i'm going to take my power lines around the outside and over to there drainage will come from this pump and we're literally just going to come over to the bottom and then we're just going to fill in all the roads like usual and then you might be wondering how would you get your pipes from one level to another in this situation because obviously if we try and go from like there up to say that road can you see those pipes they're sticking through the land that is no good now in real life in a gravity so you could do something called a backdrop which is basically that chamber there it would be like really really tall and so basically the pipes going in would be at the top level and then it would drop down and then the pipes coming out would be at a low level now obviously we are pumping water through these pipes as well you don't have different networks in this game so we're gonna delete those and we're gonna do what i guess what we would do for water mains which is keeping with a sloped pipe and obviously since we have this slope here we would just do this to the top so then we got a nice slope pipe and we can just come out here and fill that in like that lovely because as long as your pipes have a minimum cover you can you can actually put them on a slope like this so that is all good uh, whilst i'm here i am actually going to neaten up the edges as well so let's do the level tool we'll grab sort of that level and then we're just going to go around and we're going to trim these all right so that's pretty good although you probably noticed if if you've got a key night we haven't connected any of these together we're gonna need a range of bridges and slopes and all sorts oh, i just found i remember i downloaded the sydney harbour bridge that's got to go in somewhere can we can we shove it across that river oh that looks that works very nicely there let's shove that in oh look at that <laughs> oh that is beautiful great mod yeah, uh, we will connect that at some point i just i just gotta do my own bridges up here first so i imagine we're gonna probably need to go from like the front row like something like that over to there that works quite well except for that bridge pillar right there we go we made a very very narrow little span there but that does get the road through fairly nicely it's probably worth trying to get a few different ways down so let's do a bit more of a perhaps one of these down here oh that works that does work yeah i like that i like that a lot i might do another one of those over this side like perhaps from up there down to there oh that is nice that is a nice, nice truss. Oh god, what happened at the bottom? Look at that, it's like a weird optical illusion. What? Why is that so weird looking? It sort of looks like a piece of architecture, but I actually really like that. Decent. All right, and then I think to get down to the bottom, I'm going to I'm gonna do this one, sort of try and build it into the bank a bit. All right, and I think I've only added value to the houses that are going to be spawning there because they're going to be quite tall. So they're going to be looking out at the bridge. Uh, very, very lucky people, basically. Right, so that's all connected. So basically the road comes off here across this lovely bridge into a tunnel because we've got to pass under this railway. It then goes along here over the very awesome Sydney Harbour Bridge. What a build that is. And then we're connected to our motorway. Just ignore though. I, I couldn't be asked to do them properly. <laughs> All oh, right, but yeah, essentially that is our wedge. So let's press play and we'll watch this thing build itself in real time. Ooh, ooh, look at it going up. So we've got some ambulances using our bridge. I'm actually quite intrigued. Oh yeah, at the bottom it does just work like a normal bridge. I wasn't sure because the <laughs> it's so weird looking. 
because the weird perception i wasn't sure if like that was actually real but it, it is that's literally just how it looks we have all of our shops and stuff going in and at the top people are building their posh houses i mean what a view especially this dude here i can come out of his bifold doors get the old barbie lit and then just look out that way he's got an arch in his view that is one of the best views an engineer can ever see especially with a truss bridge down there as well and even better if they turn to look the other direction you can't even see the pukano in the background all right it's down here by our green pyramid this is the commercial and office zone they're going in now which should mean we'll give our people some jobs very soon yeah, you can see lots of commercial stuff over here Vault tech literally have an incredible view because down there look at that that is a hell of a sight and as you can see the water's made its way in so if we just hit pause quickly we should be able to build a key so if we try and follow this then we've got our key in which sort of acts like erosion control meaning this lovely wedge will not fall into the sea now, hang on where's <laughs> where's all my ambulances going they're being police escorted away from the wedge <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my ambulances were meant to save this place, not just disappear. Anyway, I'm sort of waiting for some traffic to come. Ah, here we go. Our first people are arriving. And by the way, whilst I'm here, I feel like I really, really should do a bridge review. So the Sydney Harbour Bridge is a steel through arch beam. The arch goes through where the road is. Basically, the arch is a very nice steel truss with vertical beams that hold the road in place. It can hold six lanes of traffic on the main span. Plus, over to the right, we've got two railways and a little pedestrian walkway. And pedestrians are safer than here thanks to the curved rails, meaning no one can jump off and do a bungee jump over this river. Not only is this bridge an absolute bilf, it's also the gateway to the water wedge and being that the wedge is the future of city building technology i give this bridge a 9.1 out of 10 bridge review wow so the traffic is quite major now everyone's trying to move in at once i mean it's a hell of a city it's completely brand new nearly every level gets an incredible oh no oh no there's a fire there's a fire there's a fire where's the fire brigade i thought i, I thought i put a fire brigade in oh i did look there's literally <laughs> It's literally a fire station opposite. I mean, they've they've got the helicopter out, which is probably a good idea to have helicopters on this sort of city. But I don't get why it took them so long. It, the fire was literally across the road. <laughs> oh, unless it's because no firemen have actually moved in yet. Yeah, look, the helicopter, it actually came from my main city. Oh. So we do actually need to wait for people to move in before this is a fully working city. But yeah, people are arriving in the dozens. And they are spreading all over the place. I mean, this is actually really nice. These are, these are the offices you get a lovely view of the forest down there but all in all i think the wedge is the city of the future lots of potential for progress here largely because everyone gets such a lovely view of the world but on that note i will say peace love and bilfs bye guys